foils make everything about the holidays look more regal. But do they have any traditions we can relate to? ET breaks down how the royals do Christmas. Were there family traditions you had to explain to her? Oh, plenty. I think it's probably. I, mean, I think we've got one of the biggest families that I know of, and every family is uh, is, is complex as well. So. No, look, she, she's, she's done an absolutely amazing job. Last year was Meghan's first Christmas with the royal fam, even though she wasn't yet an official member. And this year we have good reason to believe that her mom, Doria Ragland, will join the regal celebrations and break royal protocol again. But these breaks aside, the Windsor household is all about following holiday tradition. The whole royal family would gather together and the Queen would host everybody. Carolyn Robb, the former personal chef to Princess Diana, Prince Charles and the boys, gave us an inside look at some of the royal family's Christmas traditions, past and present. It's very traditional. They have um, the sort of handing over of presents quite often on Christmas Eve. The royals leave treats for Santa and his reindeer, a practice that makes them seem just like us. I always remember Princess Diana in the the run up to Christmas and coming into the kitchen and little bits and pieces that she needed for them and creating reindeer food to leave out for them and of course they needed carrots for the, the reindeer for Christmas night and a couple of mince pies and all those things. Some people leave a glass of sherry for Santa Claus, um, some people leave a glass of milk, it depends what your inclination is. Christmas morning seems pretty standard. Christmas morning I think they will have children have their stockings and then the Queen would spend some time with all the members of staff. The Christmas I was there I met the Queen on Christmas morning and she gave me a gift. Um, so that takes up about an hour and a half of her time on Christmas Day. Uh, which I always think is incredible that she will stop and do that. On Christmas Day itself, the family go to church in the morning and then they go back to Sandringham House for, um, for a lunch and to watch, of course, the Queen's speech in the afternoon. And then really the family are left to enjoy themselves, to, uh, to play games. And on Boxing Day, there is that famous shoot that most of the senior members of the family um, take part in. Most senior members, except for maybe Harry. Reports claim the prince will skip this tradition for the second year in a row, to stand in solidarity with the Duchess of Sussex, who isn't a fan of hunting. What about royal Christmas meals? Christmas lunch is very traditional, so it would be roast turkey with all the trimmings of stuffing and sausages and chipolata sausages, um, a roast ham as well, Brussels sprouts, roast potatoes, cranberry sauce, bread sauce, um, gravy, all those things. Christmas afternoon they'd have tea, so Christmas cake and scones, um, ginger biscuits, those kind of really traditional ginger uh, Christmas things. And then in the evening just a cold meal. Um, and part of the reason for that was so that the chefs could at least have Christmas night um, off and not be doing another big meal. Another really cool thing is from the Queen down, the royals don't let anything go to waste. The next couple of days, interestingly, like, like every other family, they would have a lot of leftovers. Um, so there'd be cold turkey, cold ham the day after, turkey pie, turkey soup. Um, so they're all very thrifty and, and nothing goes to waste and they really don't have hugely sort of extravagant and luxurious tastes. At the end of the day, the royals aren't that different from us, when it comes to Christmas at least.